Now, what is the epidemiology and mode of spread of mumps virus? The most common age group which it affects is 5 to 15 years. So, age group is taken from the Indian standard books. Nelson does not directly talk about age. Nelson says that uh, in the pre-vaccination era in 70s and 80s, uh, the most common age group affected was between 5 to 9 years. This is what Nelson says. But then it does not give much details about what is the overall most common age group in the current scenario. So, we have to rely upon the Indian text and majority of texts give a range ranging between 4 to 10 years, some say 5 to 12 years, another says 5 to 15 years. So, we will stick, stick with the Indian text which says 5 to 15 years is the common peak age group in which these infections happen. But we need to understand that unvaccinated individuals will be will always be prone and even in adults, even in partially immunized individuals, mumps can still happen. Even in fully immunized individuals, sometimes vaccine failure is responsible for some mumps virus cases to happen. Infants are not affected because they are protected by transplacental maternal antibodies. So, first 6 to 8 months, mumps does not happen. More cases tend to occur in the winter and spring season, especially in Indian subcontinent. Secondary attack rate of mumps virus is high, it is 40 to 80 percent. However, the good thing is that one infection gives lifelong protection. The mode of spread of mumps virus is respiratory droplets. So, respiratory route is the mode of spread. It can also be spread uh, through fomite route. The communicable period of virus is uh, variously given in various books. Nelson says that the overall communicable period is the one in which virus is secreted into the saliva. So, logically that will be the communicable period. Virus appears in saliva starting from 7 days before the onset of parotitis to 7 days after the onset of parotitis. So, if there is onset of parotid swelling at this point, 7 days before here and 7 days after this onset of parotitis is the total period of communicability for this virus. But even in this period, the danger period in which the transmissibility risk is maximum is seen 1 to 2 days before to 5 days after the onset of parotid swelling. Now, you should be careful in the MCQ entrance exam. Two types of MCQs can be asked. One question will ask you, when is virus present in saliva? Or they will ask you, what is the overall communicable period? The answer will be 7 days before to 7 days after onset of parotid swelling. If the question says maximum transmissibility is present in which, then the answer will become 1 to 2 days before to 5 days after the onset of parotitis. Indian textbooks also give a similar range, but uh, it slightly changes. It says that about 6, uh, 9 days before to 7 to 8 days after the onset of parotitis. So, almost a similar range is given in the Indian textbooks as well.